Time to talk about another character who I really like, and that's Wonder Woman. Now, you may be saying to yourself, why should I play Wonder Woman when I can play Superman, because he does everything better than her. And, uh, I don't think that's necessarily true, but even if it were true, one, she probably won't get nerfed soon, possibly as soon as, like, Tuesday, and two, she has the only good comic in the new 52. And come on, some of you must read comics, so respect that. So let's take a look at Wonder Woman. Now, Wonder Woman is a jack-of-all-trades character, not unlike Superman uh, and Bats. Really, the whole trinity is all pretty similar. And uh, she has some zoning, but it's not really as strong as Supes or Bats. However, what she has that works out really well is she has a great close-range game, uh, some interesting mechanics, and a parry. So, uh, first off, let's talk about her normals and her strings. Previously, I separated these two things, but for this one, I'm going to go ahead and uh, combine them, since one really leads into the other. Now, I'm not going to address every single normal and every single string, because some of them I don't use that much, and I'm uh, mostly just going to focus on the ones that I think are really important. So first off, you have her back one. Now this is great because it's a mid. It's not the fastest attack in the world. It's not as fast to come out as her standing one, but it can't be ducked, as you can see. So what else is great about this is it actually gives you plus four on block. Um, and this is awesome because you can confirm whether they're blocking or not and then do some other stuff. And there's a lot of great normals that she has. Um, plus, if you finish the whole chain, it goes into her combos. So you have back one, which is sort of a core of her offense. You have back one, one, three, which goes into her combos. You have down one, which is not a low, but it does give you plus on block. Or sorry, it gives you plus on hit. It is neg on block, so yeah. But this, you can do one, two, down one, two, and that gives you even more plus on block and sets you up to do back two. Now, back two is, in my opinion, the best normal in the whole game. It is amazing. It is everything you could want in a move. It, um, for one, is an overhead. It comes out fairly fast. It's not super fast. Like, you can definitely get stuffed up close. However, at, like, any range, like here, look at this, at the tip of that whip, and it knocks them down into an untackable, which means you can dash in and hit them with a mix-up as they're getting up. And that's really great. Especially because you also have three, which is a low. And three, um, not only is that plus on block if it is block, you do three, three, goes right into her combos. So you have this great little mix-up. Anytime you land this, you can either do another one, or you can go for a 3-3, three, three, and they're forced to choose between a low and a high. And that's, or a low and an overhead, which is, you know, sort of the core of any nice 50-50. So the main normals and chains that you're going to use a lot in uh, her whip stance are going to be back one, plus on block, and goes to back one, one, three, which is her main combo starter. And look, it moves her forward a nice distance. I mean, it's not like a full dash, but it's definitely like Soup's uh, forward 2-3, which everyone loves. So, you have that. You have down 1, which everyone knows how awesome down 1 is. But she's even better because she has down 1 too, which gives you all sorts of fun options. Um, and, of course, you know, you can cancel down 1 into her uh, lasso to launch if you want. But that's unsafe, so... I don't do that a whole lot, since there are better ways to start combos. Um, there's back two, which is the most amazing overhead in the entire world. And let's talk about her jumping normals. So there's jumping two, which is decent. Um, it's important to note that she has an air dash. Uh, and you really have to think about how fast the move comes out, because it means there are minimum heights. So like, see, like if I do that too low, you can't really get her three out. But her two comes out most of the time, and her one always comes out. And since they all link off a jump into whatever, you know, I don't, I usually use one. So two is pretty decent. One is amazing for a few reasons. For one, her jumping one can be an instant overhead. 
Um, and I'll show you. It's a true instant overhead. Look, he's done. There we go. True instant overhead. And you can uh, go right into that to get 12% damage pretty much whenever. Great round ender. So she has a great array of overheads with her normals. And there's also her jump 3, which is an amazing cross-up. And you can uh, beat most anti-air with it, because look at how far that whip goes. And it leads into a little mini combo. Uh, it sets, like, because it starts on a knockdown, you can't do quite a full combo, but you can do that guy right there, which is still 33% damage. Not bad to lose a third of a life bar for something that's virtually impossible to anti-air. So, her normal's in her other stance now. She has uh, Wonder Woman's stance character. She has Sword Shield. She has the other one. Now, her two is her main confirm in this stance. Uh, you can do 2-2. Two, two. This is her B&B &B in this stance. One nice thing in this stance is that she has a couple of amazing overheads. Uh, again, her overheads are just amazing across the board. So one thing is you can do 1-1-2, one, one, which has that little chained overhead, which your opponent will get used to. But what's beautiful is it's actually plus on block. And having an overhead like that that's plus on block is ridiculous. She also has back two, which is this long range low. This is, this is in my opinion, this is beautiful because her lasso stance back two is this amazing long range overhead, and this is this amazing long range low. And it has this canned mix up into either overhead or another low. So you can either do back two three to do a double low, or you can do back two one. And since you're always going to be at plus frames from landing that, you can try and get back 2-2, two, two, or you can try and just get 2-2 two, two to go into a combo. You can even do, if you want to get fancy, you can do 2-2 two, two stance cancel into uh, lasso again. So there are a lot of different uh, things you can do with that. And in this stance, you also have her jumping to, which is a crazy good ambiguous cross-up. Look at this. And look at the ranges it works from. Her jump arc changes in this stance, and we'll talk about that in just a minute in the movement section. But as you can see, I don't even know which side I'm landing on. So yeah, there's a lot of cool options to uh, take advantage of her crazy normals in both of her stances. And I think Sword is really underrated because of that, especially because of this great low. I mean, being able to low poke at this range, Harley is really the only other character I can think of who can do that. And in the corner, it's just brutal because you can't backdash out of any of this pressure. Now, there's two other anti airs worth talking, or two other uh, normals worth talking about. Those are her anti airs. Her down two is really good. Um, it leads to combo, which by itself is great, and you can get good damage off it, way better than most people's anti-airs. I think only Grundy really gets more, because you can do that, and then you get the whole thing. So there's uh, some cool stuff you can definitely do. Um, and then you have her sword anti-air, which doesn't get you as much damage, but it still has, it comes out pretty quick, it has a nice hitbox because of the sword itself. And they aren't amazing, but they aren't terrible. Uh, they're certainly better than a lot of the cast's options. So just to... You can see that this is sort of cleanly beating the Flash's jump in, if I time it right. So as you can see, even on trade, this works out great for you because you can get the combo. And if you do it at the right timing, which is a little bit early, you can go ahead and pretty much beat this anti-air if it's spaced or his uh, jump in if it's spaced wrong. And because they have such a big hitbox, they work okay as a preemptive anti-air, which is also nice. And as you can see, it even beats right above her head, which is pretty cool. And here's sword version. Same timing. Has a little bit more of a forward hitbox. Uh, doesn't trade as much because it doesn't work as well right above her head. So you kind of want to do this one really early, especially if they're doing close jumps. But 
it still works pretty well and for like a far jump like that you can see it still at least trades with most of them so yeah I like her anti-air okay uh, some people like to use this is anti-air because you can get more damage, but it's totally unsafe and the timing is really intense, so I don't know. Another anti-air option that I'm going to talk about, even though it's not a normal, is this. You can always jump back and match their jump because she has such a nice floaty jump in lasso. And then you can just pop one of those out to hit them. You just gotta get a little below them. See? Beautiful. And for uh, preemptive anti-air, this is amazing because it hits that whole area in front of her so when they try to jump see it just brings them right back down best normal in the game stand by it so now let's take a look at Wonder Woman's movement options I think movement is a core part of any fighting game and I think that a lot of people uh, don't spend enough time really thinking about what their character can do to get in and out and especially with the prevalence of zoning in this game right now, it's really good to know what you can do. So her best movement option is, uh, well, for one thing, she has a great dash, just like a lot of other characters in this game. It's fast, it covers a lot of distance. Her back dash is good, has invulnerability, not as far as her forward dash, but not terrible. And then she has an air dash, which is awesome. And you can actually 9-6 air dash, which is uh, an anime fighter term. But essentially, you do up forward and then forward at the same rate that you would dash. And as you can see, you get basically an instant air dash, which can be really good for uh, ambiguous cross-ups like that. Drop down on their head, get a full combo, go have a cheeseburger. So another great uh, thing you can do with her air dash is you can actually do a double cross up. So like here, I cross him up with the jump and then I cross back. And that can be really good because as you can see you can do it extremely low to the ground if you time it right. And so combined with her instant air dash and her uh, cross up air dash you can really do a lot of very difficult to block stuff. Secondly, you have this, which uh, covers close to full screen and is most useful as a projectile punish. It's really unsafe on whiff. That whole time, look at how long she sits there. So you don't really want to use this too much as a movement option. But once in a while, if you're like at the top of the screen and you need to cover a huge amount and Deathstroke just did his machine gun, you can use it to get in. I, again, though, would probably just try and work my way in until I'm in regular air dash range and then try and jump a gunshot, a low gunshot or something. Um, so another interesting uh, movement option for her is her um, dive kick kind of thing. Now, we've already seen that you can do instant overheads with this, and as you can see, it gives her sort of this other angle she can approach from. And so there's this rule that you can do basically air dash and then any one action in the air and so because of this you can kind of string these together to create really ambiguous stuff so like there and you can do so between all three of her air movement options you get a lot of different ways to sort of move around your opponent and uh, as you can see if you do this low enough it'll even hit crouching so and in the corner uh, these guys can lead to combo. So that's pretty nice too if you meet or burn. We'll talk about that a little more in the special move section. Now in shield stance her movement changes a little bit. Her back dash is still decent. It doesn't cover as much. Her forward dash is really great in shield stance. She moves really far. It's really fast. And she gets this nice low jump arc. I actually like shield stance for dealing with zoners for that reason. And we already talked about her crazy cross-ups and shield stance, but they remain a great uh, key item. So now let's take a look at um, Wonder Woman's uh, special attacks. So first off, she has her projectile, the tiara. She has a straight version and a angled down version on the air, a straight version and an angled up version on the ground. It has terrible recovery, especially the air version. Look at how many years they have to come back. And it has a tiny hitbox 
Like, you can see if I just... goes right over his head like that. Kind of annoying. Nothing like Superman's. Uh, I almost never use this. The only use I've ever seen for it was someone in a tournament who would uh, check people by doing that because if they try to do something after that because she's at plus frames you can cancel into it and use the meter burn version and it'll uh, combo them on the way home sort of like cap shield in um, Marvel so while it uh, has that one use I don't really see much use for it and I think she has enough she's already at plus frames after that there's better stuff you can probably do uh, so yeah that's not really a move I see any use for except maybe to close close out a round at long range like this um, but other than that nah. now her next one is the lasso this is unsafe but it is her best wake up it gets invulnerability all the way up to the first hit and it leads to combo which is great uh, you do have to time that but as you can see you get that on a wake up that's always nice it's uh, a decent move it also is going to be part of her punish and some of her corner combos um, it's mostly for use in combos but you can do D1 into it is one of her faster punishes. Also, 1-1 one, one into it is also a fast punish. Um, in general, you're only going to be using it as part of those punish combos. And in the corner, you're going to use it in back 1-1 one, one to start that. So, otherwise, uh, not really a great move. It's not good as anti-air. We've already talked a little bit about these guys. This one... Uh, covers the whole screen, really nag on block and whiff, but it is fast. It's a great projectile punish. It, you can instant it to do a sudden full screen charge in lasso stance. You can uh, link it on a standing opponent off that. You have to do it real low, real fast. Um, you, It's mostly useful for those things. You can use it to cross the screen, but again, it's really dangerous. Then we have her dive kick, which we already kind of talked about. I guess it's a dive punch. Uh, it's great for changing her trajectory, coming in like that. In the corner, it leads to combos if you meter burn it. Then she has this guy. Not a particularly useful move. I've seen it used as a combo ender once in a while. You can meter burn it to make it safer. Um, it's not great. It has this stupid startup. You think it would be her reversal, but because of her little fetal position thing there, you can get hit out of it really easily with meaties, which is why you're better off using that. Uh, it has better range than that. Um, doesn't lead to anything except in the corner, and even then it's really hard to get anything out of it. Um, you can use it as part of flashy corner combos. Like you can do... Oops. Well, I can't do it because I'm crossing him up. There you go. Yeah, but aside from flashy corner combos, I found no use for it. So, uh, if you know, let me know and I'll adjust this tutorial accordingly. So, the last thing I want to talk about is her parry. It has a lot of great uses. Um, there's a thread I did on the Wonder Woman forum that uh, talks about it. For one thing, her parry can, in lasso stance can stop projectiles, which once you get the timing for it, is great for getting in on people who use projectiles, because as you can see, it totally removes block stun, so you can get in really fast. Secondly, uh, her parry stops a lot of the casts D1, because a lot of them are mid, and so that gives you the ability to actually punish a lot of D1s. And so if you know when someone is going to go for a D1, like you know they're at like neg 1 or something, and that's a situation where you're normally going to go for it and pressure, it gives you this great opportunity to just be like, oh no. And it gives you a damage boost, so you get extra damage when you go ahead and do that. And uh, it is a little slower than some of the other parries because it's uh, four frames. So one interesting thing you can do is you can actually, as you see, break Batman's 1-1-3 string, which is great because it starts a lot of his offense. 
Um, you can train yourself to look out for the double high, and then, as you can see, that normally puts him plus on block, hugely plus on block, and now he's getting punished for that. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, there are some other characters whose strings you can break. There's a list on the Wonder Woman forum compiled by me with some frame data help from Fez, or Fair, and uh, there's some other cool stuff you can do with it. For instance, Doomsday Charge getting you down, especially in the meter burn version. Well, it turns out that, you know, at decent range, you can actually react to it and parry it. Like so. Well, like so. And see, it even works on the meter burn to hit one, which is great. Um, it is really good because you can always punish the non-meter burn, but if he does the meter burn, the fact that this will uh, give you a punish on it instead of putting him at plus frames is ridiculous. Now, let's segue into shield stance. Get it? Segue into shield stance? Because you... Okay, that was lame. Um, now, her specials in shield stance uh, are somewhat similar, but there are a few little differences. For one, she doesn't have air specials except for her uh, thrown shield because, uh, yeah, she uh, doesn't have the air mobility in the stance. However, her shield gets a lot better hitbox and a lot less nag on block and on uh, whiff. So this becomes a lot safer to just kind of throw out as a projectile in shield stance, which makes her counter zoning in shield stance really good. There's also the fact that in shield stance, which we hadn't really discussed before, the uh, chip damage you take is reduced highly. And this is really good um, in the Green Lantern matchup because minigun is really annoying, and being able to block minigun without terrible fear of taking a ton of chip is good. And Another great thing with uh, Shield Stance is this move. Everyone hates this move, right? Especially when he uses it at this range where you aren't going to be able to punish it. Well, right here. Let's go to his max range, yeah. See, there I can get it, but right here I just barely miss. Oh, that's so annoying. What can I possibly do? Well, this is where trait canceling is neat. You can actually cancel into a trait like so and punish moves like this in Ravens and you'll be at plus nine after that. So I think that that is a really great uh, use of Shield Stance is to suddenly give her basically a full screen punish. You can see it has uh, ridiculous range. It only adds a frame or two. Um, and the meter burn version is safe on block. One other special move we have is the uh, lasso grab. This one is great. Um, it's mostly used as a combo ender. It is at plus frames, so you can kind of throw it out in the corner. Um, it's not so great at mid-screen because it doesn't have really a great hitbox. But what's really cool about it is, if you meter burn it, and this is the only use of meter burn and lasso stance that I really use, it uh, not only does more damage, but you see those little stars around Lantern's head? Those indicate that he is now dealing half damage. And that's pretty awesome, because it allows you to sort of go in and be a little more aggressive, because any combo they start on you at that point is going to uh, not hit as hard as it should. You can actually hit confirm her meter burn version. So assuming he's going to block, you can actually do it, wait, wait until you see whether it hit or not, and then go ahead and hit the meter burn button to get into the double hit, which is safe on block. Now, another good use of meter in this stance is to extend her combos because her shield attack brings them back in. The Tierra can do that too, but the shield attack really works a lot better, and you can also end your combos with that to get a sort of standing reset with them at neg 9, great in the corner. As you can see, that was really much safer than her other one and then you can go into that pressure. Lots of fun things to do with the uh, shield and the little bash. Now she also has a parry in this stance. Um, it's actually a striking parry. It is a hit, but it if it grabs a high attack, it will parry it. And I'm gonna show you, this parry is faster 
by quite a bit than her other one. So, everyone is familiar with this chain, right? Oh god, is it annoying. And, uh, check this out. Block low, parry. Oh, which one are you going to do? Doesn't matter! There's no mix-up. There's just pain. So, again, another reason to be in shield stance during the Green Lantern match matchup. Um, this parry's great. There's a list of all the strings it can break also on the uh, forum. So, definitely look into that. And, uh, yeah, anytime a Green Lantern tries to slide at you, just remember that you can immediately do that to him. And you can actually get an extra hit. That's what I've been doing here by tapping the button. I mean, it's 12% and frame advantage, but that can be enough. Unfortunately, it puts them a little far back, unless you're in the corner, to start her crazy mix-up game off back two. But you're still setting up a new neutral, and they are going to be hesitant to keep sliding at you once you've parried that a few times. Finally, there's her super. Now, I don't use it a whole lot, because they're sort of better uses. It has sort of a long startup. Um, and I feel like your meter is better spent on either uh, specials in shield stance or um, doing a wager. But if you're going to use it, I say combo into it. Um, you can land it actually at the end of her giant combo, assuming I ever get over my online timing, like so. This can be a great uh, humiliation for your opponent if you have a ton of meter and you just feel like doing it. Also, if your opponent hasn't wagered and they have like 45% left, that can be a great way to end the match. Um, she's always going to have meter because her basic uh, combos don't use a lot of meter. We've talked a little bit about Wonder Woman's neutral game, how you move with her, how you score a hit. So let's look at what you do once you confirm those hits. So this is the B and B. Um, Wonder Woman combo. It's whatever. See, they all sort of start the same. Uh, you're always going to have the 2-3. And then after the 2-3 at mid-screen, you're going to go into back 3. After the 2-3 uh, at mid-screen, you're going to do back 3, jump 3, 1-1-3, one, one, three, back 1-1-3, one, one, and then lasso grab. Now that's for max damage, uh, and that works off a lot of different starters. Even weird ones like that one, as you can see. Now if you want to get Oki instead of that, you can do back 3, jump 3, down 3, which is going to give you an unteckable knockdown right next to you so you can set up another one. Now, in the corner, her combo is going to change a little, and it's going to hit a little bit less hard, but it uh, sets up her amazing corner game. Now, the corner combo I like to use, and there's a couple of them, is whatever into that. So as you can see, the corner variant gets you 39%, one less than the mid-screen. Uh, now, I'm using backpack one, but you can also do that off one one. In the corner you can also do it off of back two. And uh, there's a couple of different ways to start it. Now I'm linking to forward to forward three after the uh, whip. However, uh, you can link to back three, but of course if there's a stage transition there, they're going home. So, you know, just be aware of that. Uh -huh. Off the back two three, off the back two whip, it is very difficult to actually land the uh, um, next part. So I actually just like to do go right into the uh, back one one three. So yeah, off of that, you do want to do that instead. Just go right into those. You do have to make sure that they hit low. Otherwise, he's going to pop out like that, see? So, it takes a little bit of uh, practice, but it's not a hard thing to do. Those are her main corner combos. Um, now, let's take a look at sh Sword and Shield Stance. 
Now, her combos change a little here. Uh, to get any real damage off them, you need to use that in the middle. So you can either do a knockdown with uh, 2 2 3 at the end, or you can do 2 2 into bash to get a standing reset. They deal the same damage with meter burn, which is 30%. Now, in the corner, and this is corner only, or against big characters, you can uh, trait cancel right there and get a little bit of a different combo. Uh, you can get more damage that way. Uh, you just do the corner ender with that. But um, I don't really like doing that because I actually like staying in shield stance so that I can continue to pressure them like this. But if it's going to win you the match... So as you can see, there's the full trait cancel combo at corner. Gives you 42%, which is great damage. If it's going to win you the match, definitely go for it. And there's the mid-screen version. That one I did use two bars on. You don't need to EX the lasso grab. So those are the combos I mostly use. And uh, we showed it before, but here's combo to super. See, I need to take a drink because that super's too long. And there you go. That's uh, some beginner Wonder Woman stuff. Hope you find it useful. Peace out, kids.